Hi friends, a warm welcome to my channel and currently now I am going to explain you regarding ligand preparation. So the ligand preparation is the first step in any kind of docking whether it is a uh, what do you say rigid or flexible docking first to dock you require ligands and fun, first and foremost thing is docking is classified into two types one is structure based duct design and another one is a ligand based duct design so if you have a protein now you need to see where your ligands are going to fix if you don't have a protein you have a ligand now you prepare a three dimensional space from the ligand and that three dimensional space you create a new ligands based upon the existing ligands so let us see how you will prepare ligands and how you will uh, use them in docking now for doing such kind of uh, uh, you need to sketch the molecules now i am using a basic software called as uh, chemdraw it is an um, it is from perkin elmer you can uh, have a trial version and if you uh, require uh, what to say full version you can uh, contact the so, so the what do you say the license for the for the license now let me uh, suppose if you are going for an known structure simply go on to the uh, tool or structure and write your name PA paracetamol simply I am writing paracetamol now I am going to get enter now as soon as I made an entry now the structure is converted into I got a what do you say this is a two dimensional structure or else again simply you can sketch any kind of molecule uh, by using your simple what is it simple sketching fundamental of any chemist can do such type of sketching now once you sketch your molecules uh, first most thing is you need to check for any errors now you select the molecule structure check structure so now no errors are found now go for structure clean up structure okay now this is your molecule which you have been sketched after that now file now you go for apply document settings now you go for ACS 1996 and you say the modified document yes the structure has been changed now this two dimensional structure you need to convert them into three dimensional so what is the need of converting a two dimensional structure into a three dimensional structure because a two dimensional structures are rigid and they have no orientation in space whereas the three dimensional structures have uh, several conformations which can be easily rotated so it, it may have tautomers it may have rotatable bonds it may have several other conformers so in order to do so how you will convert the molecules into three dimensions simply copy the molecule go into the another tool from the chemdraw that is chemdraw 3d now go for paste now once you paste the molecule the molecule appears in the window that is chemdraw 3d now after pasting now you got a three dimensional molecule however this three dimensional structure is not a energy minimized structure it is still rigid so you need to follow some algorithms to convert a rigid molecule into an flexible molecule which is ready to fit into a protein which can be uh, three dimensionally interact with a protein so for this several softwares have their own method of energy minimization of ligands now here the camera uses basic mm2 minimization now once i click on mm2 now that you can see the job is running now you can see the molecule is getting flipped and some amount of energy is constrained in that so by doing so you can see the uh, what do you say 
some output parameters are uh, displayed here now once you see in the output parameters so you have so many things so totally there are no errors okay now you can see your molecule has been created with a three dimensional space now go for that file now again go sorry file save as now go for file save give some naming and now give a naming called as drv01 now it will get saved onto the desktop see the mm2 minimization while doing this energy minimization what we are expecting that the minimization is uh, how many tautomeric forms of an existing molecule how many ionizable forms how many metal interacting uh, centers in my molecule suppose if i have a protein the protein has uh, co crystals of metallic uh, metals such as such as uh, nh sorry uh, such as zinc met iron so during those interactions whether my molecule have energy minimized centers which can be having metal interactions or tautomeric forms or rotatable forms so these many systems will be created by energy minimization using mm2 this is a fundamentally you are doing the same by uh, mm2 calculation using chemdraw this is the first most thing and one more thing is softwares generally prefer uh, various formats while uploading the ligands for example if you go for uh, scrodinger scrodinger always ask either in sd format or in mastro formats and if you go for autodoc the autodoc version will ask you regarding pdb or pdbqt files so a chemist generally faces lots of problems in uh, converting one format file to another format file for that i am going to uh, provide you the information of one software which is universally available to convert all the molecules which are uh, in one format to multiple formats with a simple step for that so the software is open babel now by using this uh, simple software copy the software and again go on to you can just paste it and just hit enter now once you go you can have the window of open babel software now directly by downloading it you can just save it and you can run it so now once you run your software looks like this so whatever the molecules which i have uh, sketched now with drv01 name is on my desktop now i am going to Uh, this open babel software simply i am selecting the format which i have been saved sdf okay now i'll choose the format which from my desktop so what are in sdf file so drv01 open now simply i'll just convert into whatever format i require suppose i require into pdb format just simply specify pdb format and if you see in between you have n number of parameters which you want suppose you want add hydrogens convert into d2 bonds uh, create three uh, generate 3d coordinates so whatever and now you give a output file give output file drv.pdb as name again now go for save and simply press convert so once you convert it see now one molecule is converted and there is no need to sketch and save so now you can see drv pdb is ready so this is the fundamental and next most thing is if you if you are doing virtual screening or if you are already having the ligand in the literature suppose if i am screening the existing molecule just go and type that name into the pubchem 
where you will get the structure of that molecule or you can see by simply clicking the structure you can go on to download once you go on to download so it will ask what format you need to download so simply go for SDF format and download once you download it the ligand which is existing in literature gets download now again simply by using your open bible software you can see now that molecule got download downloaded just open it so after opening it extract onto desktop right fine i have extracted successfully now i am going to open bible now i am going for that uh, whatever now i have downloaded see now i have downloaded these molecule from pubchem just open it now i have opened it now i will give you another name so that is pubchem pcm01 now i will choose the folder d on desktop save now pcm01 will be saved and i will just simply convert so now the my molecule is converted from sdf to pdb so this is a very useful software which converts with all possible required coordinates and dimensions with which our ligands need to be used or converted and which is a prerequisite in docking this is the fundamental information for uh, docking in the forthcoming lecture i will t uh, teach you how to dock sorry how to prepare ligands both for scrodinger as well as auto dock in the forthcoming lectures so if you uh, like my lectures uh, subscribe to my channel share among your friends thank you